So I want to start today's video off with a little bit of an unfortunate announcement, okay? So here on YouTube, obviously, you guys pretty much, I would say, know the entire game of what's going on, how to use the site. Many of us have been using this website for over a decade at this point, and, you know, YouTube decides randomly that they just want to change without really letting anybody know, and really without any reason that makes any sense. And unfortunately, one of those things is how subscriptions work. So people for the last year and a half or so, probably even longer than that, have been talking about, oh, I never get notifications from the channels that I'm subscribed to. Oh, I'm never getting notifications for the people I wanna see videos on. And I've seen this countless times here on my channel too. Well, apparently YouTube has, apparently, I guess they put out some new update or something with how this whole thing works. And uh, they've changed how subscriptions work. So um, if you subscribe to a channel, you'll sometimes get notifications. You'll, you'll get notifications pretty much once in a blue moon. However, if you want to actually be quote unquote subscribed to the channel and get constant notifications for all this content and stuff that they're putting out, you have to hit that bell icon. Okay, now the bell icon's been around for a while, and when it first came out, pretty much, you, you mean, if you were subscribed to a channel, you were gonna get most of the notifications, but if you, like, did the bell icon for all, you would get them, like, literally right as they happened every single time, okay? So it was kind of like a boosted notification system. Now it's basically, I, I guess, the only way you're ever going to get notifications for your favorite YouTubers. With that being said, I know a lot of you um, watch every video I put out, and I do appreciate that, and, you know, uh, with this change, a lot of YouTubers have been reporting a lot of problems here on YouTube uh, with view counts and stuff and if you do want to see all of my content if you're enjoying the videos I put out if it's part of your daily routine to watch an Optimus video or whatever the case is make sure you go down there by the subscribe button and you hit that little bell icon once you hit it it should like have these little uh, like circular lines around the outside to like indicate that it's ringing that will mean that you're going to be getting notifications or if it gives you a drop down you can choose between occasional and all Personally, I would prefer if you obviously picked all, but you know, that's up to you. I just want to make sure that I'm putting out content and that the people who want to see my videos are seeing my videos. YouTube, I don't know what has gotten into you. I don't know why you think that someone wants to subscribe to a channel and not get notifications of the content as if they don't like the content, you know, but it's whatever. You guys have failed to run this platform for years now. I'm not totally surprised, but with all that BS out of the way, hopefully I never have to address that again. Let's go ahead and get into today's actual story, or today's actual story since I can't talk. So for those of us who have played Minecraft, we know that there's a couple different modes. Obviously, there's the, you know, very popular survival mode. Pretty much what the game is really intended to be played in when it comes down to surviving and, you know, playing the game, I guess, how it's quote-unquote supposed to be played. Then there's creative mode, which obviously you can just basically do whatever you want in it. You have access to all the blocks, the open world itself. You can spawn things. There's a bunch of commands you can use. And then there's the hardcore mode, which which I would say isn't as popular as the other two, but I mean, it's still there. Now, hardcore mode is a mode in Minecraft. It's just like survival. However, when you die, you're done. That's the game. You do not get a chance to respawn. You do not get a chance to really access that save ever again. It's over with. Now, if you've ever played hardcore, uh, it's it's pretty hard for most of us really to keep a save going for more than a couple days because, I mean, so much random stuff happens in Minecraft, let's be honest. It's not necessarily the most consistent game when it comes down to how you get killed. Uh, there's been a couple times that I can think of that uh, things happened that I did not expect. One time, me and my friends were streaming. We were standing inside of the house and a uh, creeper walked through the door, blew everything up, okay? And I I've been trick-shotted by skeletons, I've been swarmed by zombies. That just kinda is how the game goes, you know? Sometimes you just die randomly, nothing you can really do about it. But in hardcore, obviously, the stakes are definitely, you know, on a completely different level. Well, like I said, most of us can't last a couple days. Imagine being the man who survived in a save for over five years who recently just lost his game. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the story of Phil Watson, who is a man who has been playing the same Minecraft hardcore save for over five years, and obviously so far, well, up until this story really came out, lived to tell the tale. So, Phil himself walked over 6,300 kilometers, he flew nearly 8,000 kilometers, and jumped over 700,000 times, in this world until unfortunately everything came tumbling down. So if we're keeping track on how long this dude has been playing this same Minecraft save, he's been playing it since, well, about 2014. The game was still just about in the height of its popularity at that time. I was still in the eighth grade going into high school when this happened. I'm not even in school anymore. 
it's been a while, man. Obama was still president here in the United States. So he's definitely put some time into this world. And I mean, it's just impressive the fact that he even got five years out of a hardcore Minecraft save, which is by far gotta be a record. And he says that it is a record, as a matter of fact. He even went on to say, it was never about being the best or the longest to go. I just liked playing it and I managed to survive. I started saying I was the world's longest hardcore survival person because I couldn't find anyone else. We couldn't find anyone who had lasted more than a couple of months. Mr. Watson plays Minecraft most days, averaging about 20 hours a week. For those familiar with Minecraft, his character was attacked by a zombie baby wearing enchanted armor. So, I did find a clip of this guy uh, at the moment that he died in his world because he streamed the entire thing. I don't know how long he had been streaming for, if he'd been streaming it the whole five years or what the whole deal was with that, but his final moments in the world was broadcast live, and I do want to go ahead and show that. Just, just take a look. I knew it. No! Really? That's how I die? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, a baby zombie. I mean, I just gotta say, that that's one of the most unlucky uh, things I've ever really seen. I mean, he had to deal, obviously, with the gold enchanted baby zombie, which they're fast and annoying. He's trying not to get blown up by a creeper, a spider magically shows up behind him. You know, there was no chance, really, of that guy getting out of that alive. But to just see the devastation on his face is even more sad, really. I don't think I've ever put five years into a even, like, a creative world or any Minecraft world, let alone a hardcore one where basically the game's over if you die even once. Hell, I don't think I've ever put five years into a save in any game ever, so I can't really personally imagine how much time, effort, whatnot he had put into this thing, but I mean, you saw his tools and weapons were enchanted, they had names, and he was still like level 96 or something. That's insane. The amount of XP he had built up in this world is just ridiculous. Now what's even worse is that he had the golden apples in his inventory, which I guess could have really given him a fighting chance, but just he didn't get a shot. Regardless, it's a very impressive feat. It's impressive to pull something like this off for so long, especially considering, like you say, you know, all these other hardcore players only lasted a couple months, but then you go on for five years. Going on for five years in any game on anything is impressive enough. To do it in a mode where the game is over after you die just once is even more insane. Mr. Watson has more than 3,500 subscribers on YouTube and nearly 2,000 on game streaming platform Twitch, where he is known as Filza and met his fiance Kristen Rosales, and he's already thinking about returning to Minecraft. When it first happened, I was so depressed, I thought I didn't even want to look at Minecraft right now, I didn't ever want to see a zombie again, but I'm starting to get that urge to create something and go on another journey. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the links to both his YouTube and Twitch down below because obviously that's incredible talent to pull something like this off, but I think that this incident might really help him overall with his channel and stuff because like, obviously, I mean, this made the news, dude. BBC reported on this, okay? This made the news. That is incredible, dude. This is a this is an awesome story. It, it's sad in one way, but then in another way, it's like, congratulations, dude. His life has been made so much better by Minecraft, and I know I'm going completely off topic here, but his Minecraft days have really benefited his life so much over the five years he's been playing on this world. Thousands of people watch him online. He obviously loves playing the game and having fun streaming. I'm assuming he makes a little bit of money off of it. Maybe he's not, you know, ninja when it comes to his net worth, but he's probably making a little bit of money. And he met his wife on Twitch. That is awesome, dude. And these are the kind of stories that I love to see because you see these stories and these people saying all oh, video games are for losers, you know, video games cause violence, video games cause people to do this, and video games are so victimized, right? Especially in news articles like this one, okay? And every time you see something like this, it's almost like you expect it to be so bad and so negative. Like when I opened this article for the first time, I was afraid he was just gonna be getting crapped on, okay? Like, oh, this loser's been playing Minecraft for five years? <laughs> go outside, weirdo. <laughs> you know, why don't you go expose yourself to some sunlight, get some vitamin D. But I mean, Minecraft has helped this dude's life out so much, and it's so great to see finally an article talking about somebody playing a game and not being, you know, ridiculed for it or being blamed for something that they're not connected with 
you know, it's great. And the fact that he's got like the dedication to keep going, to just say, you know what, this can't be the end. I wanna go back and play some more and I wanna create another journey. That's awesome, dude. I think in reality, that's gonna really boost how well he's doing on both YouTube and Twitch because now, I mean, that this is literally mainstream news this guy's accomplishment, you know, he's gonna have a lot of traffic going to his channel. And like I said, the links are down below. This guy is extremely talented at Minecraft, obviously. Go check him out. The dude definitely deserves some recognition for this. This story almost reminds me of one we talked about, it's been just about a year ago at this point, the uh, Never Ending Civilization 2 game, I think it's Civilization 2, where the guy had basically got lock, uh, locked into this like um, eternal war or whatever where he was fighting like four other super nations with nuclear weapons and like all the front lines were at a standstill and he'd been playing for like 15 years and he couldn't get it to end because everything was just so locked into place. Except with that story, you know, it, it, it didn't end with obviously just a defeat, but I like seeing stories like that. I like seeing people so dedicated to something, even if it doesn't really have a huge uh, real world impact. Seeing things like this benefit other people's lives is great, man. Congratulations, Phil, on your success in this world and making the news and everything. That's pretty cool. I wish I had the talent to do something like this, but uh, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Make sure you go check out Phil down below as well. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on down there as well. I don't know if I said it, but follow me over on Twitter. Post memes, thoughts, updates, lots of great things going on over there as well. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. If you'd like to become a channel member, you can do so by hitting the join button down below or the become a channel member link in the description. Make sure you have notifications on if you're subscribed here to the channel. I want to make sure you guys are getting all the notifications that you deserve. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, losing after five years of Minecraft and signing out.